good afternoon everyone welcome back to the channel hope you're all safe um, this will be the fourth or fifth time I've attempted to do this uh, do the intro uh, I've been interrupted by people phone calls <laughs> all sorts so here's to attempt number five I think it is um, but no welcome back to the channel hope you're all safe and well today's video I have decided to go for a wander. Um, I got a bit uh, bit of itchy feet and decided I was going to take a wander, go do some pictures. Um, but just didn't, you know how you get, you, you don't fancy going far. So uh, with everything going on at the moment, I thought I'd just have a wander nearby. Um, so I'm probably within half a mile of where I live, uh, which is which is quite handy. Um, and I've got loads of sprawling fields, as you can just about see behind me. Um, so what I'm doing is I'm walking along this uh, this old bridal tra track and seeing if I can find something to take some shots of. Um, the sky you can't see, it's all blown out, but um, it's really, really cloudy, overcast. Um, so I'm hoping there are going to be some decent shots to be had uh, with maybe the emphasis on the sky so uh, I'll have a wander around see if I can find something and then I'll come back to you When we wake Hear the birds and see the sun Side by side our fears are done All the good times just begun I've had a bit of a wander um, and I've come across some daisies it's just like patches of them scattered bugs and there's patches of them scattered along the uh, the bridal way uh, so what I'm looking to do is try and find maybe a patch of them that uh, well I found a patch just behind me here the problem is is the sun is right behind me so to shoot that and maybe get the sky in is going to be a little difficult uh, the dynamic range is just going to be absolutely insane so I'm going to try and find I can see lots of patches of white up ahead which I'm hoping are daisies as well so I'm going to take a wander up see if I can find some and then see if I can take some shots of them oh, we know what we have let's hold on tight Found what we're looking for in life Call us crazy but things are finally right Okay, so what I've done here is I've managed to find a clump of daisies uh, which just happened to be facing the direction I'm looking for so what I've gone for is I've gone for the daisies in the foreground and because of how bright they are and vibrant they are the focal point in the foreground and then behind that you've got fields and then the sky as well which just adds that bit of texture up in the uh, top half of the image um, what I'm doing is I'm playing around with depth of field I've I've tried going really shallow so like f5.6 and then I've closed that up to about f11 just to get a bit more detail in the background because the sky is absolutely insane there's just so much texture going on um, I'm going to keep playing around. I'm having to, as you can probably tell, it's a bit windy. So I'm having to try and make sure that I manage that shutter speed quite well. So at the moment it's up around sort of 650 just to make sure the movement in the daisies is frozen. But um, yeah, quite nice. I'm, I'm pleased I, I managed to walk up this way. Um, I can see tons of patches of daisies scattered across the fields. The only problem I have is that they're, they're on the other side of the fences. So this is a clump that I've been able to get to without having to worry about going in someone's field. I'm going to keep messing around with this for a bit and see what else I can do. And then I'm going to move on. Oh, 
I've made it into the woods and uh, yeah the phrase can't see the wood for the trees springs to mind I if any of you've seen my previous videos where I've been in the woods you'll know that this this isn't my thing I struggle to find compositions some and chronic um, but what I have found is uh, all the ferns are out um, but some of them haven't finished uh, sprouting their leaves so there are some that have got these little curls right at the very ends of their uh, the leaves of the uh, branches uh, so what I'm going to do is grab the macro lens and see if I can get that and take some shots of these um, I've lost the light it's it's very overcast uh, would have been nice for a bit of light coming through but um, see how it goes see what I can do okay so uh, there's a few shots there of the um, the ferns. Um, the woods are, uh, as you would expect, it's quite dense in there, and I can't see anything from here, or at least from the path, that's uh, worth taking pictures of. Um, what I'm going to do is I'm going to head back, and I'm going to carry on down the woods, but I'm going to go down almost sort of parallel with the path that I was on before. Uh, and take me in a bit of a loop back home um, and if I find something on the way I will be stopping but it's uh, like I say I haven't been here before uh, this is all brand new to me but I can see that come autumn uh, it's gonna look really nice in here if there's I don't know you, you're not gonna be able to see but all along here there's just loads of ferns and when that goes orange orange and reds it's just absolutely incredible um, so hopefully this will be a place to come back to uh, in a few months right, that's typical uh, I need to clear out the SD card <laughs> I um, I've been hoarding footage for ages and uh, Clearly the SD card's had enough. So, sorry about that. <laughs> um, right, what I was saying is that I will definitely be coming back here at, uh, at autumn. And uh, yeah, I'm quite looking forward to that. I'm hoping when it's, uh, when the leaves are all orange and red, it's gonna look a lot nicer. So, let's get walking. I'll make a bit of a loop back home and yeah, see what I can find on the way. Even in the hard times, you and I can weather any storm. Before I sleep, hear the crickets, see the moon. Side by side and through and through. No limit to what we can Hold on tight Found what we're looking for in life Okay, so I am struggling to find anything in here um, What I'm going to do is call it a video I will perhaps come back another time And see what I can do about finding compositions uh, There's a lot of woodland And not a lot of time So I'm going to call it a video so thank you ever so much for watching. Uh, drop a comment below just to let me know what you thought. Uh, it's always good hearing from you as always. Uh, if you liked what you've seen, give it a thumbs up. If not, you know the other one. There's a lot of people watching but not subscribed. So um, if you haven't subscribed, uh, what I'm going to do over the next few weeks is I've got a little project. And in that project, I will be using a film camera and the idea is that I have 12 shots and I'm going to do videos based on maybe three or four of those shots in one and then I will go through the process of f uh, developing the film and then showing the film at the end. So uh, keep an eye out for that. Uh, hopefully that will be a good little series of videos and uh, yeah, look forward to uh, hearing from you in the comments and speaking to you soon. All right. Take care, I'll catch you later.
Bye-bye.